Well, I hope the video comes out better this time. The battery was a bit low, so it might have been it. I've wrapped the uh, tape around the magnet. As you can see, it's very tight. I started to pull it over the top of the magnet. I did unwrap it from the last experiment. It's still dry inside, so that's working a treat. Uh, we've got some new water in our tank. We've got our electrolyte in there. I'm going to have to sit the camera down now. So as I can stick our spinner to our pole. Now I've just got a strip of stainless steel bar in there I'm using now to try and keep the water a bit cleaner so there's going to be a few more bubbles of course. Uh, once again 31 volts the magnet and the pole there is the negative side which we'll hook the wire to and the positive course our NO down the bottom our stainless steel plate alright so let's turn it on and see what happens with the sides of the magnet now insulated well there you go seems to be a whole lot more bubbles up the top now but spinning away quite nicely quite as fast as before but nonetheless moving along quite well so there you go it still spins with the um, Complete sides, complete side of the magnet sealed electrically, isolated. Of course, we're getting a bit more bubbles or a lot more bubbles off of the stainless plate than we were with the copper, as we would expect. But yes, the motor still runs. Swap the polarities over and see if it goes the other way. I guess it should. I haven't quite got the screw centre as you can see. She's a bit wobbly but that doesn't matter. Alright, polarity swapped, switching on. And once again, well, it's disappearing in smoke this time. I'm making lots of uh, hydrogen off of that um, stainless steel plate now and we've Pretty much we lost our toy. Oh, see oxygen bubbles seem to be bigger and clearer and the hydrogen bubbles that were coming off seem to be more like a mist. Just an interesting little fact. Yes, it is a bit wobbly. I haven't quite got the screw in the middle. Maybe something to do with why it's not spinning so fast, but uh, it is spinning nonetheless. Water all over the container because I just cleaned it. So there you go. Still spins with the sides insulated, so I'm um, not really sure what that means. I guess we'll work it out. But there you go, still no problem spinning with the uh, sides completely insulated. Um, if you're not happy with me using the tape, I will use my rubber paint and give the whole side of the magnet a rubber coating, but I can assure you that that magnet on the side is dry because the tape is very tight. Alright, I'll get this one up and posted and uh, we can have a discussion on that I guess. Um, anyone that's interested in this, the thread is over at overunity.com. I'm 
sure you'll find it. Just look for the one that mentions magnetic vortexes. Um, an interesting and um, exciting thread indeed. So, uh, anyway, whether this throws another spanner in the works or what, but we'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys.